So I went to Mastermind Toys today and got myself a whole bunch of Pokemon plush toys. Woo! Squirtle, Squirtle, Squirtle. Squirtle seems to be stuck to this bag here. Squirtle! <laughs> so these are extra special though, because they're corduroyed. 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 These are extra special because they're corduroy material, which you may recognize on like pants and stuff. Unique lined look, and I actually think makes it look a lot nicer. It looks nice in its own unique way. And that is what actually attracted me a lot to these plushies. They're really firm, so they hold their form, and they're just really well and symmetrically made. Bulbasaur's like brows are very symmetrical, very nice. You can see the material, like the lines all flow the same direction. They're very nicely pointed. These fall under a unique category like the Yarn Yoshi Amiibo. They're very unique compared to just a regular plush. I think some couches are actually made as well. So like, if you're a big fan of Corduroy, then like, you definitely would love these. I am buying these more as a nice display piece rather than a plush toy to give kids and play with because these are pretty expensive, $30 each, to just like give your kids to destroy. So you can see the stitching and the lines are just very symmetrical. It's like, it's very well made. This is a close up of Bulbasaur, his nice grass bulb here. And there's a little hole on top, like you're poking your belly button. You can kind of like shove the fluff on the inside over. So that to me is what makes a plush very high quality. And then next here we have Charmander. This Charmander to me just like spoke to me. It looks extremely well made, very precise and symmetrical. You can see all the lines point nicely to the center. His eyes are very symmetrical. The mouth is very straight. His hands are angled and same length and distance apart. And just look at how nice and all the fine little detail they went to shape how nicely it forms the proportions. This almost looks like a little necklace that Charmander is wearing. And next up we have Squirtle. Now Squirtle has to have a really round head. I can tell they have a bit of a little bit of trouble trying to form a perfectly round head for Squirtle. There are these two little joint sections which makes a point so you can see his head is kind of pointy. There is a little thread of his red eye sticking out. So I'm just gonna, and there we go. And you can see here, like without the little points, Squirtle would have a, a lot rounder and more precise head, but it's not that bad. You could kind of like, just like push them in, push the little joint spots in, make his head a bit more round. But he actually looks very proportionate from the sides. I love his shell, did a really good job on his shell. Again, nothing is like printed on everything is embroidered and like stitched in. It's not just glue or printed on. So these are really good quality. On this specific Squirtle, I think his right hand over here is a bit longer than his left. So there's a, a bit of disproportion there, but it's not that bad. I could uh, deal with it. Look at his cute little feet. Squirtle and a nice 2022 Pokemon Game Freak tag to show it's officially licensed. And this is his little tail. Kind of took a little shortcut with his tail instead of shaping it. They kind of just stitched the shape into it. It's not that bad, especially since if you have him on display, you don't see the back. So by the way, they actually stand very well. Bulbasaur obviously has four legs. Charmander, they use his tail and nice flat butt. And Squirtle has a nice flat butt with his tail to uh, keep him standing very nicely and lastly we have pikachu honestly there was a lot of demented pikachus pikachu has to be very round and proportionate and this was honestly the best one i could find from choosing between about five or six of them i feel like his head might be a bit too small compared to his like ears and stuff but honestly it's not that bad i would definitely say pikachu looks a bit more off compared to the other three but not that much. Everything else is still very precise. You can see all of the lines meeting up, making a V to the center. All the lines on his head are nice and proportionate. The ears, they're all nice and straight. All of the stitched points, even the brown parts on his back has the pattern. His tail is a pretty decent job. It's shaped nicely. 
and all they did was add a little stitch on the back of his head to keep it attached. But if you wanted, you could probably just cut off this little thread on the back and then you can have a loose free moving tail. Move the fluff on the inside around a bit to kind of shape and reform the head and bodies. If one side's like way bigger than the other, you could just kind of like push it to the other and basically try to even things out. So if you're a big fan of like corduroy stuffed bears and stuff, you can now get yourself a set of corduroy Pokemon. From his foot to the top of his head, he's about 8 inches. So he's 8 inches minus the ears. The ears add an extra about 3 inches. Squirtle is 8 inches, so they are about 8 inches tall. It's not like the biggest, but it's not that tiny either. It's about the size of two of your hands put together. This Pikachu has trouble. Pikachu definitely has trouble sitting. They made him standing and not really sitting. So you could definitely have the original three starters on display and they kind of have to support Pikachu. That's probably why Pikachu is always in the middle. It's because he's being supported by the other three. There's apparently a special Gengar one which I have no idea who sells it or where to find that but there are pictures floating around on the internet so if I can find this Gengar I definitely would pick up Gengar from the photos he just looks extremely nice and precisely made if you made it this far in the video thanks for watching be sure to subscribe and check out my channel for any other toys and game related content and I should be releasing more Pokemon content as time goes on thanks for watching